GM Gen or GA is Crypto Courier back in the video. And today I have a very, very important project that you might want to get into because this could be something very, very big. It is huge. All right, it's going to be a short video. Just talk about this intro, fast paced. You like it that way. So we're going to get right into this video, right? So first things first, get this out of the way, get it out of here. And what this is, friends, is the Ethereum co founder Anthony DeLorio launches. And Daimi to promote blockchain decentralization with Xbox style cubes. The founding of Ethereum. The founding of Ethereum is a stuff as a legend. The table recounted in several books turns to a Matali group of people who built up upon a white paper written by 19 old genius Vitalik. And after much drama and chaos, created the most popular blockchain in the world. Two of those early collaborators, Gavin Wood and Charles Hawkinson, will later turn on Vitalik and launch rivals to Ethereum, Polkadot, and Cardano, respectively. And now another co founder is launching a massive blockchain project of his own. But one of these says is completely complement to Ethereum and will promote decentralization. So, what it is, it's just. The man who co-founded Ethereum with Vitalik is launching a uh, an NFT project to promote decentralization, to promote like decentralization, simple stuff, you know. The new project is a brand brain child of Anthony DeLorio, who likes Burton Hales from Toronto and is best known for financing Ethereum in the in its infancy. Today, DeLorio is rich thanks to the proceeds from his early stake in Ethereum and in other crypto investments. And if his new venture succeeds, it could be a key pillar in achieving the exclusive goals to Web3. Not really important. Let's go together on Monday night as a part of a kickoff to the Web3 Summit. DeLorio took on stage downtown Toronto to formally downtown Toronto. Let's go to formally announce. The project and an Italian word he coined that translates to let's go together. The project launches will be a multi-year affair that involves tokens and a new protocol, but its core revolves around shipping 3,000 console units known as cubes to people around the world who will choose chosen random from a whitelist, which is pretty cool. In an interview with Fort Fortune, Delorio explained that the cubes, which he had described as Xbox-like devices, so it's a console. It's pretty cool to see that he's like giving away console consoles that are like the Xbox. Solving what he believes two major problems, putting Web3, the paradox of centralized and decentralization, and the presence of Web2 business models. You see right here, the consoles are the cubes, custom computers, and the flagship hardware devices from Anamaya. Plug and play similar to gaming consoles. Cubes functioning as a member's dedicated personal digital servers. Cubes run full blockchain nodes and connect members directly to decentralized networks such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So are you telling me I'm going to be able to play Mon Warfare 2 on this console? If I can play Mon Warfare 2 on this console, that'd be amazing. And nothing really else important here. And we'll talk about here. Um, talk about here. To further promote another really the cubes and company kit will sell on siding with a scale of 300 to 5,000 with the cheaper ones intended to be for low income participants. Part of Laura's plan to cut the venture capitalists who he says have been big contributors to centralization in the blockchain realm. So he's pretty much saying, hey, these, these uh, venture capitalists, whatever, these guys are the reason why we're not fully decentralized. You know, it just talks for us is just about how it talks about the tokens about it quest and the lengthy rollout nothing really important whitelist and unveiling is happening in the q3 q4 so if you're wondering how do i get whitelist for this well easy i'm gonna be posting a link in the description all you gotta do is follow some simple information during the whitelist by signing up to that list we'll keep updating and reveal how many how you can participate in the project so put your first name down there your email your city your country bam bam and that's it that's it man if you don't give that information well i'm sorry information information give yourself a console subscribe they send you an email you confirm the email that's it simple stuff they got their twitter here too i'll post their twitter why not they'll send their twitter down there as well and that's it that's it we're just gonna talk about this stuff that's been going on same stuff here eth cannot stay under 1100 or under 1200 which is come on just, stay under 1200, man. just go down to three digits some other stuff, another boring, boring day in the blockchain, 7.6 million dollar day. And through open seas, if you got the liquidity or you buy James Merle, could be kind of a play, kind of risky. If you know, if you don't have the liquidity for it, would not recommend getting in. Um, nothing really else that I go, hey, you might want to get into. But if we do look at some other important stuff, go look at, no, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. The rankings, you can see what that a Bayak Board Ape Yacht Club is at where's more let's set a 62 with floor same as yesterday mutants are moving as well so we can't just, just can't see board apes fail or nfts fail it's that simple it is the bitcoin of nfts so when this is underperforming nfts are underperforming and then our gobblers pump too which is kind of crazy the elon space i didn't even see this how did i not even see this bro 
only 224 items cool to see that's it for this video simple stuff get into it why not get into the project center for wireless it could be something could make someone out so hey i love y'all so much have a good day good night goodbye god loves you i love you